She's been an ace machine. This will be key if she can get her serving going in this match. Nice, easy down the line play. And just overcooking the set. Well, that's one of the uh, elements to her game. We'll see Menegati hovering in behind that Gotardi block all day. And the, the, the opportunity is the really important aspect of that, that they got so early on in the goings that they have a good read on Taliko Clancy. Brilliant serve from Clancy. She thought it was coming over. But Menegati tidies up with the tidy. And that's the first one of Taliko Clancy's jump serves that I've seen here in Tepic, so we haven't seen her be super consistent. That was a missile handled very well. Short dipper. From Menegati on uh, Talitha Clancy. She comes up with the big shot cross court. Backpedal got her full approach and then a really nice snap into a very sharp angle. Go to Gatardi again. Gatardi goes with a very cheeky jumbo. And I think that this is one of her, one of the many elements of her game that has improved so much in, in the last six or seven months alone is that at the World Championship, Side Chicolari climbed to fourth in the world back in 2012. And hasn't had the best of luck at Olympic Games, so we do wish Menegati the best with Gotardi. And if they stay fit, then qualification should be battle for those Olympic qualification points. Is on Travis. It started. And it is such a fun race to follow. And this is a huge event for this Italian duo here getting into the medal round. The points at the Elite 16 are just massive. And, and even more important than that, uh, they're not going to have to battle through qualifiers in Elite 16s, or at least they'll get higher. Valentina Gattari, she doesn't just block straight forward. She moves laterally like only I've seen Anders Moll and Kelly Chang blocked in a very similar fashion. And that's a lead company to be in. Followed by the ace. game plan is they're just not executing at the moment well the timeout does the job and side out is gained round we go again nice start from Italy Clancy decides to go onto the reverse just opens up a different angle and scores very nicely again down the line once more interesting to see if Italy readjusts and starts moving back into the line or if they'll stay with those angle blocks Wow. Well, we all know where she's learnt that shot from. And she's just showing such good poise and touch. As I mentioned, she, because Sarah and Kelly had five aces between them. And speaking of aces, <laughs> Simon, there is Taliqua Clancy, arguably the best server. Doha Elite 16 in aces, and she is second in aces. Let's not forget that. Now, good time. Great call and Clancy backing herself there. She's a ferocious attacker on her day. Valentina Gattardi now blocking the line. Now watch how much she moves into the line. And Menegati this time goes back to Clancy. That's a great pass. But easily dug in the pocket and that's beautifully bumped. Oh, good break. What a good peel from Clancy. And that little bit of experience is shut down. Oh, wow. Well played. Well played. So a rally that could have gone anywhere and Maria Faye sorts it out. Waiting to put this water rally <laughs> tune on. And it just again, a magnificent block from Gattati and then she sort of got stuck to hurt herself. Great cover to stave off a point. Menegati runs out on the reverse and rolls it very cleverly to the line. Little look from Clancy to her partner. Look on a game at the moment, Gattati from the service line. Maybe looks a little tired. Another cracking serve from Clancy. And a very clever pokey. If they moved very late, so she must have seen or felt something or had that just sixth sense intuition that great offensive players have to know that that was open. Clancy knew that cross court shot was open and she's battered it there. And interesting that 17 15. Italy need an ace here. Might have been flirting with the baseline. She goes to Clancy again and then tries to leap in to the angle. So a bit of a cross block uh, play up, but Clancy's hitting like a dream at the moment. I'd be celebrating too if I'm in serve receiving. Taliku <laughs> Clancy misses one. Anytime I don't have to pass that serve, I would be yelling very loud. There we go. They change it up to Maria Faye and she coughs up the overpass for Gattardi to hammer onto the sand. Exactly right. And it's so just punishing that for the match set point. Oh, wow. Lovely short serve. Catches Australia out. 
And Gotardi rolls it comfortably to the line. That was clinical at the end of that set. 21-16. Right before her eyes. Clancy again served. Bumps it out wide to open up as much of the net as possible and gets a little fortunate. This is the first encounter between these two teams on the Beach Pro Tour. So Different shots. And you can see players. It's sort of a data collection period. You mentioned that they haven't played each other yet. And there's Clancy with the option that we've seen many times. To go back to Clancy, which it does. And they clearly feel that that is the route to points in the early part of the set. Again, another great peel on the diagonal. Beautiful set. Oh, that is phenomenal beach volleyball. Out of the timeout from Italy. gut he's got away in with some plays, but the option is always there. Italy just winning these long rallies. The short serve. On to Clancy, beautifully hit again. Italy trying to work to give themselves a shot. Hanging in this one. And no surprise, they go after Gotardi. She'll be tired after the last rally, but holds her position really well. And that line over. If, if Italy can get an opportunity on defense again. Hooked back on a beautiful pass up to the tape for the option hit. Marta Menegatti. One of the best to do it in Italy. Change up to Clancy. The cross block option was taken. Menegatti didn't. Young lady at the service line. Good hit. Beautiful pass, though. And that's nice. Great work in the pocket from Menegatti. They need this point, Italy. They've got it. Straight down this seam between the two Australian players. Number 15 seeds, Marta Menegatti and Valentina Gottardi in the blue. Have battled so hard at this tournament, but is this just one match too many? It's a great start from the Aussies. Two points on the board. All over her there. Now, this is where young players will often just start to see red and start swinging blindly. I'm interested to see how she responds. Well, gets the angle. Well, she drifted away from that, so Gatardi gets her side out. What would be the, the three meter line if this were an indoor court? It's remarkable athleticism tight. Gattardi very clever. Saw Maria Fay coming into cover and went deep and went with control. Trouble. Well saved. Very well saved. Another beautiful piece of work. Italy nudge ahead for the first time in the tiebreaker set. They go short again on Clancy. Clancy hammers it cross court. She's dealing very well with Menegatti's short serve. Maria Fay then. Sticks on Gotardi. That's a swing. That is a big, big swing and still fighting. And there you go. Anything you can do, etc., etc. They're not podium machines for no reason, as Clancy has just done a masterful job on offense. Now, Menegati gets her first serve for a while and somehow engineers the play. Australia pressure on. Good serve received. Maria Fay sets high. And Clancy bangs it cross court onto the line. And we're level again. Meets the proverbial road here, Simon. 13 13. <laughs> Bronze medal point. Script is for an ace. They go to Maria Fay. She can't get the option ball pass away, but she comes up with an unbelievable hit. Oh my goodness me, that is incredible. A shooter's touch, now we have match point Australia. First bronze medal point to the Aussies. Beautiful, beautiful stab dig and nicely tied it up from Menegati. This to stay in the game and she's done it. Lovely set from Gotardi under pressure and what a swing from Menegati. Gotardi with a good pass and keeps her team in the match with an absolute ripper again. Good serve, well taken by Gattardi, but it's too tight. Third time of asking, third time of charm. And Australia win the Elite 16 bronze medal here in Topeka in Mexico. And that celebration tells you just how important that result is for the Aussie pair. They've beaten Italy by two sets to one.